Lawmakers are looking to deal with a $3 billion shortfall over the next two years. Yeah, however, the Republicans and Democrats differ on how to get that work done. Now, the current proposal from the Republican majority cuts spending, including education and lower income tax credits. The Democrats say they plan to introduce dozens of changes. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus joins us now live from Madison with balanced coverage of the debate. Lindsay? Well, today was a much quieter day outside the Capitol. Protester numbers were down considerably, but inside debate rages on. Democrats have introduced a number of amendments. All have failed, but ultimately Republicans may accept some of those changes. A stormy day brought at times stormy debate on Governor Scott Walker's first two-year budget. This is not who we are as a people. This is terrible. Now look, our message is really to worry about middle class families. And make no mistake about it, this is an assault on middle class families. We have been working hard to find a compromise with all interested parties. Democrats railed against the $66 billion spending plan. They introduced a host of proposals, including a push for open government and eliminating funding cuts to WISCnet, a school-based internet network. It's really easy to walk around and say you're balancing your budget if you're not paying your bills. Republicans have yet to introduce an amendment, but called the governor's plan a bold step towards fiscal responsibility and political honesty. We actually believe that raising ten, twenty dollars from people all around your neighborhood is the way the campaign should be run. We don't think that it should be actually funded by the taxpayers. The assembly is just now returning from a break. Both parties said they needed time to look over a Republican amendment. Debate is expected to last well into the night. Live in Madison, Lindsay Veramus, Fox 11 News.